Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. It appears that I'm up to 45 subscribers as of this morning, so be sure to keep up with the great work, sharing and and liking and commenting and all that jazz. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would really appreciate it. I'm, I am trying to grow my channel. I'm a long way from anything, but... <laughs> 45 subscribers is a fabulous start in just a couple of months, and I'm quite excited about that. So, anyway, I am really excited today because I have some great new toys to play with. Hang on one sec, and I am going to show you. Oh, check it out. I got from Honey, my sweet husband, I got these fabulous little four-ounce squirt bottles, and you can see they've got the little red tops to pop on and off. Um, they're four ounces, which really for me is about the perfect size. So, and then he also got me this fabulous set of Montmartre paints. Look at all those beautiful colors! <laughs> Yay! And Mom, when she was buying me, she got me a gift certificate for Amazon, and this is one of the things that I bought, is some Grumbacher, Grumbacher Academy acrylics. So I get to play with those today. And then I also got these two guys, some Pebio Studio acrylics that I get to play with. Um, of course, I have my pearlescent pouring medium there that I get to play with. There's a bunch of stuff over there drying. I'm trying to not whip you around as I take you over to see. I also got some of these Liquitex Basics acrylics in the bright neons. <laughs> and of course, I have my Crayola paints that I got. And of course, all of my deco art paints. So I think I am going to be in paint heaven for a while. So I am going to go and play with the mixtures of paint. And then once I get an actual formula calculated, I will come back and share that with you. Thanks so much. Oh my gosh, look at all those beautiful colors. 30 containers, 30 colors. Took me most of the day to get them all mixed up. Um, I will, as I'm going through and using the different ones, tell you how they mixed up because the different brands, of course, require different amounts of my pouring medium. Now, my pouring medium is just white basics Amazon glue mixed with water, and it's mixed about 60-40-ish. Um, sometimes it's 61-39, and sometimes it's, you know, 42-whatever, 58. <laughs> so, it's not always an exact science, but... I'm so excited to have them all in tubes, and then you can see I've still got all of my deco art that I still need to apparently get more of these little guys going on. So, anyway, let's get to painting. Alrighty then, we are all set and ready to go. As you can see, I've got another one of these 8 by 8 chunks of wood that my husband cut for me. Apparently they're just out of random shelves that we've had laying around over the years that we have, you know, not used or have been, part of them have been damaged. And anyway, so I've got a whole bunch more of these. My white paint is just house paint. It's a Rona Eco recycled house paint in white. It was the cheapest white paint I could find. And it is mixed with a latex extender. Um, and here, I'll pull that up so you can get a look at it. Latex extender. And um, so I've used that to thin it down to a consistency. And then today I added in a little bit of my pouring medium, which is just a 60-40 mix of Amazon Basics white glue and water. 
and I threw a little bit of that in because it's been sitting for a few days and it got a bit thick and it has leveled out really nicely, I must say. I'm, I'm quite surprised uh, and quite impressed at how nicely my white paint has leveled out without having any Floetrol in it to level it out. So, yeah, yay, awesome. So, <laughs> um, okay, so I mixed up, as you saw a little earlier, I mixed up a bunch of paints into these fabulous little squirt bottles. And so I have a Montmartre, 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 I don't know how you say it anyway, Montmartre uh, Viridian. I have a Crayola, and I'm calling it teal. This is one of the colors from that set uh, that was called Ocean. And then I have Pebio Studio Iridescent Blue Green. I have, again, the Montmartre. Thalo Green. Oh, you can't even see that, can you? Thalo Green. And then the Grumbacher Studios Thalo Blue. Um, and then I also have, so those have been mixed. So the, Momar, um, the Crayola paints were mixed one and one. So it was one part paint, one part pouring medium. The, um, the Montmartre and the Grumbacher were mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint and the Pebio Studios was mixed three parts pouring medium and one part paint. I said water the last time. I meant pouring medium. I didn't mean water. Um, so uh, again the Crayola and by the way my Deco Arts are mixed one on one so one part to one part um, the Montmartre and the Grumbacher Academy were mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint. And then the Pebio Studios was the thickest one and it was mixed um, three parts pouring medium, one part paint. So, uh, oh, and look what else I got. Look what I got. Look what I got. Da, 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 da. I got a blow dryer. So, uh, I know I said I would put the new one into the bathroom and use it, but it's much fancier than my old one. And the this little thing, this little attachment is not um, is not switchable. I can't use it from one to the other. So I said to heck with it. <clears throat> I'm just going to use it. It's not like I mean with my short hair, it's not like I have to spend hours with a blow dryer, right? So I'm fine with my with my good old blow dryer. I'm going to give this one quick torch, and then I'm going to, hmm, I think I'm going to puddle pour. I'm just going to do a puddle in the middle, flood, and then blow out all four ways. Or I might even just kind of blow down and blow out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens.
so that didn't take much time at all so we're gonna go ahead and oops and blow it out I'm gonna try it on low speed because I haven't tried this dryer um, I have a feeling it's gonna be quite a bit more powerful than the last one I tried so I'll try it on low and then I'll try it on high uh, and we'll see what happens wish me luck Okay, well that's pretty much a disaster, so I don't know, I think my paint must be too thick. Dang it. Ah! Where's my mini blower? Oh, and it's almost dead. So, what do you think? I think it turned out beautifully. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty sure it was my white paint that was too thick, so I'm going to thin down some white paint and give it another shot. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a fantastic day any way you can. Take care. Bye now.